He plays the do side, oh, brings different looks, more different looks than when uh, Nicolescu was on the do side. And there's that moving forward that we talked about before with a different look, and all of a sudden that look changes. So I love changing right. that look once or twice early, just to keep them honest. And right, but I think it was more, it wasn't like, oh, you do? <laughs> well, we just were thinking the same thing. That's Lynn Kiro on the left in the all black, hitting overheads. Jerry, we're at that time of year. We have to spring ahead. We've got to set our clocks. We have early round action. Yes. Tomorrow, nine o'clock, men's semifinal action. So happy to hear that spring ahead. <laughs> oh, that's just too much flaw between the two players and getting the player on the left to kind of go behind. Medeiros gets that short ball and drives it, and then Kiro is coming into the net. That's a great move. By I think that's what Medeiros has got to do. She's got to pick different spots when she takes that drive. I totally agree, Jaren. I think that's what separates the great players in this game. Uh, you know, having they're all going to get those offensive looks, and I just think that pinpoint, you know, they've got to pick those drives and really find the weaker spot from a phenomenal volleying team. There aren't that many, but there are those spots available. You hit those spots, you might even get an error, or at least you'll get another short ball, another ball that you can crush another ground stroke with. Jerry, holy cow. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's like, uh, hello. Is this phenomenal? <laughs> Just got it. Like a little matrix move there. So this is where the hours of court drilling benefit. You don't just routinely pick up shots like that off the screen without a lot of court time practice. Oh my lord. Wow. <laughs> High percentage shots and they can't get away from that right here. This is cool. Big moment, you know, big confidence boost for Madero's Kiro if they can hold serve here. Mm, nice, nice grab. She's not had that much success on her forehand yet, you know, taking advantage of those shots. You know, the shots are hit as kind of neutral kind of overheads, not giving Madero's like, much juice in the ball to go after Jerry. You can see, really see Kiro has improved her screenplay out of that two side. Yeah, you used to, teams used to be able to go after her and attack, and it's not the case anymore. Yeah, she's got to watch out though for that. That's a set up play. And they're hitting that hard roller, and Holy. Anika closes the net, looks for the volley. hands from Kira right there coming up with that. From Chicago from the beautiful Glenview Club in Golf, Illinois. I'm Patty Hogan along with Jerry Vion calling the action. Again, a lot of play from Nicolescu and Nico over into Medeiros' uh, side of the court in that ad court.
I'm being a Thank God I was right that winner. Time, Brad. <laughs> Thank God. Mark that down as well. And that time she does stay back. Oh, that's a good tag, but Roxy's such a good athlete. Oh. Get it into the side screen well, but just for variety purposes, and that long overhead is a crucial shot. Great volley. Nicolescu makes the run, but just... Into your body or away from your body. There, that ball was moving away from Medeiros, and, you know, that just was a beautiful moment for her forehand. She loved the swing on that, and the ball moving away from her. Well, we, we often talk, you know, about Medeiros and her backhand, and that her backhand might be her favorite shot, but how many backhands have you seen her hit today? compared to forehands, right? It's about 10 to one because she's in the ad court and she's developing that forehand. It's, it's a very good shot as well. That's the overhead that's been given a little trouble to Nicolescu, the one she's going deep inside that first post and spinning it out to the side where there's another one but i like, love the you know variety on the maduras overhead there and great defensive play from nicolas you know handling all the spins and look at anika time oh great hands from kiro that was a great transition back oh, what a rip oh, oh she just tagged her wow and the fist bump Ah, stretches her out. Now it's set point. Turner yeah. serves here. With this circumstance, it's raining it's so hard to spot the ball, keep your keep your focus, and all of a sudden you have someone flying through who's got a you know wingspan of a 747. That makes it challenging. Oh, she's done such a better job learning how to track those down from three turnips to go out in Boston. Oh, look out. Look out. Okay. Aspect of mental toughness here that's just a different come and play and it's tough that's going to be ripped yeah she over hit that ball she's got to let it drop the crowd's trying to fire him up trying to get him in there it's a good volley there again Nika Nicolescu won short hills because they made the adjustment on Nicolescu's serve and stayed back and took that play out of it. And they've gone opposite that in the match here, and I, I don't think it's served them well. You see the court actually has some dry spots on it. The Heaters are doing a decent job. It's not been a lot of skid ball. It's just been a loss of energy and you know since that moment. And that break the way Kiro and Medeiros handled it, staying out there, staying through the conditions. It's made a huge difference. Totally agree. Great dig from Anika. And now they gotta kind of fight through this negativity, get on the other side. Now, they can be in this at any moment. They just gotta up their mental game, up their fight, and let their talent speak. And get a little bit of help from Madeiras and Kiro who are giving nothing away. You know, That's it's a great point you're making there because all credit goes to them, whether the conditions, and on top of that, their level just improved from the first set to now. Just massive improvement. All right. Love. 